Hi, this is Stephanie from Never Center, and I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of our brand new photo software, Camera Bag 2. Camera Bag 2 has an elegantly simple but powerful interface for transforming your photos. We've expanded the styles included in the original camera bag, but also added powerful yet intuitive control for those who want to take their photo editing to the next level. Everything I can do to modify my photo is found in the tabs in this panel on the right and hovering over each of the items in these tabs gives me a preview of how they will affect my image. Everything currently applied to my photo is represented by a tile in the bottom tray, and clicking on each of these tiles allows me to adjust the controls for that particular item. The built-in styles in this first tab are the best way to immediately transform photos in camera bag. These styles are based on classic cameras and processes from the days of film, in addition to other analog and digital photo processes that are commonly used by photographers today. For example, if I click on the style called Helga, you can see that it has muted the colors of my photo while changing the shadow falloff and adding a nice vignette around the edges. This realistically imitates the look of popular toy cameras. You'll notice that when I click on one of these styles in the right panel, it drops a tile with the same name into the tray at the bottom of the window which lets me know that that style is currently applied to my image. If a style is already applied, clicking on another style in the right panel will replace the current style. I can select and deselect the tiles at the bottom of the screen by clicking on and off of them. When a tile is selected, its controls appear hovering over the image just above the tray. Each of these styles I'm looking through has two sliders, an amount slider to fade the style in and out, and a second slider called Remix. When I drag this Remix slider, it smoothly transitions between an infinite number of different variations of the selected style. For example, when I drag the Remix slider for the silver style, you can see that my photo is always basically monochrome with some tinting, but the colors and light qualities change smoothly as I drag the slider. Here's the Remix slider being used with the color cross style. The Remix slider is great because instead of having to fiddle with a bunch of controls to tweak this style, I can just quickly drag one slider until I see a variation that I like. Each style has infinite variety. In addition to these built-in styles, Camera Bag has a professional selection of photo adjustments in the Adjust tab. Clicking on Exposure, for example, gives me a single slider to adjust the light level in my photo. Adding Vignette gives me three sliders to add smoothly tuned vignetting. I also have adjustments that allow me to precisely edit tone curves and colors. As you can see, each adjustment I click on gets added to the sequence of tiles in my tray. This means that they're currently applied to my image. I can remove a style or adjustment by clicking on the X in the corner of its tile, and you'll see the photo update accordingly. I can also rearrange these tiles to change the order in which each is being applied to the image. It can, for example, make a difference whether exposure is being adjusted before or after contrast. This means I can always see everything I've done to affect my photo, and I can always go back and edit every adjustment I've made. Camera Bag also includes several border styles. Many of these can help give photos a vintage look. We've also included adjustable borders that let you control the coloring, width, and rounding. The collection of tiles in my tray constitutes my current filter. If I load another photo into the application, it will apply these same effects to the new photo. I can press left or right on my keyboard to load the next or previous photo in the current folder. If I've created a filter that I really like, I can save it to my favorites from the menu or by pressing the plus key. The favorites tab includes all of the favorites I've previously saved and clicking on one loads it into the tray. Once a favorite filter is loaded, I can click on each of the tiles and adjust and rearrange them as I like. Finally, you'll notice that at the top of the Favorites tab is a button called Quick Look. If I press this button, a full screen page showing previews of all of my favorite filters pops up, 
and I can compare them all and click on the one I like to load it to the tray. Each of the tabs we've seen has a Quick Look button for similar functionality. And there's a tab that simply contains all of the Quick Look buttons for one page access to everything. We hope you'll enjoy the new camera bag. A free public beta will be available soon from Mac and PC at neversenter.com slash camera bag. Give it a try and let us know what you think.